Dr. Bill Halsworth on gene therapy, using human viruses to deliver gene therapies to the eye. My training as a virologist, using viruses, understanding the biology of human viruses, to becoming interested in the retina and retinal diseases, I realized that I could put the two expertise that I had together and use human viruses to deliver therapeutic genes, to put DNA into a virus uh, and y use that virus to del deliver that gene to the, the cells of the retina. That's what viruses do. They deliver their genes to the cells, to target cells, uh, more efficiently than any other thing we have. So why not use that billion years of evolution uh, that has optimized that, that, that process and use it f uh, for, for potential benefit? Each gene codes for a different protein. That is, it, it, it makes a different protein, and each protein functions in a very specific way in a cell, and those functions are different for each gene. So a, a, a blinding disease that's caused by one gene is fundamentally different than a blinding disease caused by another gene. It could be uh, within the same cell, but, but providing a different function for that cell, or it could be in a different cell that's still important for vision. There's rods, there's cones, there's other cells that are important in the retina for vision, and each gene can be cell specific. It could be only affect one cell. So, so each disease requires that you, that you uh, design your therapeutic reagent to target that gene to the right cell in the right amount at the right time. And so there's, there's, there's the challenge, but that can all be worked out before you get into human patients by going through the animal model studies to, sh to optimize each of those elements so that you can get to the optimal combination of factors that will go into that single therapy. It's actually pretty straightforward. A, a, a vector is a human virus. In this case, the, kind of, the virus we use does not cause human disease normally. It, it infects almost everybody in the world, but causes no disease. So it's inherently safe anyway. But what, what, what we do, a, a, a virus is basically a protein coat. It can have other material, but usually mostly protein on the outside, a little basketball of protein. Inside, there's a gene, or several genes, DNA, if you will. Uh, and all we need to do is to take the DNA out that it normally has in it, and put in the gene, the DNA, for the disease that the, that, this, that the person has. If it's a gene X that they're missing, then we'll put in gene X, gene Y, gene Y. So it, it requires that the patient know his or her genetic problem, and that's possible today because of modern genetics, human genetics, that's possible, and that's increasing every day. So it's, it's this conjunction of technology has come together so that we have, so we know the genetics of many forms of retinal disease. We have the technology now to deliver the genes. We have the animal models for many of these, of these diseases. It can be put together, and now there's interest in, in actually supporting it to the clinical trial. So we're at a very special time, I think, in the history of, of medicine, because this is not just retinal diseases we're talking about. We're talking about many, well, it's basically all forms of inherited human disease are potentially amenable to this kind of approach.